you know, this is another interesting uh, robot, which is what we call as a pipeline explorer. And uh, uh, this is a lot more challenging in terms of computing, designing, and implementing. And I think uh, the credit should go to Kim because Kim and uh, Bharat also and Srini and Rajesh. But uh, this is a lot more complex type of uh, problem that what we are handling than the Agbot for simple reason. Um, so here is an example of a pipe. Now the pipeline explorer uh, using these kind of robots, all that it is trying to do is to navigate these robots in these pipelines. And then the, it has got sensors here. The sensors essentially can sort of look for any leaks or any cracks. You know, these are very, very precision type of cracks which we will not be able to see through our eyes or even with other instruments. So the challenging thing here is, is to have a robot navigating in these pipelines and then explore for any of these cracks, whatever that it can observe. And the other interesting challenge, technology challenge is how to have these robots to sort of go through this complex network of pipes. I mean, it might look very simple, but when you want to sort of operate in a remote fashion, you know, taking a turn, it might get trapped and it might not move. So the mechanism that is being built here is very unique. And I don't think anybody has done in the world because we've been able to design a computer chip right here in the lab. Kim and other people did pr pretty much here. And that computer chip can essentially help us to navigate and look for any complexity that is being, you know, seen while navigating. I mean, even climbing up is a very complex task. 